Hello, friends. We are so excited to learn about V is for Venezuela today. And we are here with Alejandra, who is so kindly yeah. offered to chat with us about her home country of Venezuela. And we are so excited to hear from you. Thank you. No, thank you for this opportunity. Nice to meet you all. And thank you for being interested in knowing things about my country, Venezuela. We are so excited. And I see that you are holding your flag, which we would love. Yeah. To How beautiful. So my flag is really beautiful, thank you. And it means, uh, it has amazing meanings. The yellow part mean, um, represents the sun. The blue uh, represents the ocean, the sea. The, well, you have these stars. And here the red represents the blood of the people that died during the war of the independence, of Venezuela's independence. How neat, that's very cool. Yeah, we were learning a little bit about the war of independence earlier today with um, mm -hmm. Simon Bolivar and so. Yeah, actually the Independence Day in Venezuela is the 5th of, Ju of July, so Okay. One day after the 4th of July. Yeah, so just recently. Well, happy yeah. Independence Day. Thank you, you too. Well, happy Independence Day for everyone. So fun. Well, and we would love to hear some other things that you love about Venezuela, about your culture, about food, um, family lifestyle, anything that you would like to share. Okay. Uh, first, I consider that the people in Venezuela is really warm-hearted. They're always... Um, they smiling, they're really hilarious. And in my city, people is really funny. We always try to, to see the bright side of every situation. We always are making jokes. I mean, if we're having a bad, a bad day, we make a joke or fun of it. So that's kind of the, how people is there. They're always willing to help you to listen to you, to, you know, people is really open there. And to tourists and people from other countries, we are really open to that people. So that's something I really love about how um, Venezuelan people is, or are, how, pe how Venezuelan people are. Um, well, I love the food in Venezuela. Here I have, um, this is called harina pan. With this, we make arepas. If you buy this one uh, in the back side, you can follow the recipe and you will have your arepas. Awesome. And is it like a corn flour? Or? Yeah, it is of corn flour. And I love it with chicken and avocado. It is um, a mix that we do with avocado, chicken, and mayo. It is called reina pepiada and it is shredded chicken, and we put it into the arepa, and it is so delicious. You can put um, ham, cheese, whatever you want inside the arepa, and it will taste great. I just love the arepa. Um, also, I love the cachapas, that it is with corn, and you put cheese. You can buy these too and follow the recipe that is here and you will have just your cachapas. Another thing that I have here from my country is toddy. This is um, chocolate powder. It is something like Nesquik, but I, I prefer toddy. I prefer the toddy. It is so delicious. And- um, You're making us hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in Venezuela, we have the Angel Falls. I, I've never been there, but I would love to go. I mean, I'm just, I really Thanks. want to I think we are there. all really anxious to go visit Angel Falls now. <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. And the movie, the Up movie, Up is in Venezuela. Oh, I didn't and, know that, how fun. Yeah, and the house, they put it in, like, they're in Canaima. Very so cool. The Up movie is in Venezuela. I saw that you studied dinos dinosaurs it's in Venezuela, but up too. Awesome, so fun. I will have to yeah, add that one in. Yeah, 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 it is great. And um, we have amazing beaches. I really invite you there when 
everything returns back to the normal maybe and i i just love the beaches of my country they're so beautiful the sand is white and the water is like turquoise i don't know how it's pronounced Tur turquoise yeah turquoise yeah and we have different shades of blue it is so beautiful and relaxing being there i want to go back again um and well maybe it's th those are some things that i'm telling you i don't know uh, what else so fun we do have yes. a couple of questions um about sure. couple of things you shared if that's okay what's your favorite venezuelan food my favorite venezuelan food um i love arepas that i showed you i love pequeños pastelitos mandocas they're so great i don't know if i can show you some pictures but they are great and i really recommend it to you i don't know i can i can share the recipe with you all so that you can try it and here in the bc area in arlington there are some venezuelan restaurants that uh are selling the Venezuelan food, so I really invite you to try it because I I think that our food is so great and maybe so you can fun. Yeah, it. if you are willing to share a recipe, we would love that. That would be so fun. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We were reading about a coconut drink called I think it's cocada. Is that correct? Cocada. Yeah, it is awesome. And when you put cinnamon, like on top, cinnamon powder. On it's top, delicious. it is like the final perfect touch. <laughs> it sounds amazing. And it is really refreshing, too. So fun. Mm -hmm. I think we had another question over here. Um, what's your favorite kind of Venezuela sport? My favorite Venezuelan sport. Or a well, sport I, that's popular in Venezuela, maybe. Well, the, the most popular is baseball. Baseball. I actually have the um, my state of baseball team oh, shirt. I that. It is called the Aguilas of Zulia. Here, wow. it is like our teacher. I so love that's the so most fun. popular. I mean, the Venezuelan people are recognized of how good they play baseball. But my favorite is soccer. I, I prefer that soccer. Be popular around the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love soccer. Our team, we are waiting so if we could go to the World Cup. <laughs> I mean, that's our dream. We've never been on a World Cup, but we really, we, we would love to be in one. So I don't know if <laughs> in the bet, future yeah. we will be, but we're hoping to. <laughs> well, I love how much you guys love baseball too, though. We have a couple little baseball players here, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fun. Another question. Another question. Okay. What are some famous Venezuelan, um, like traditional clothes? Our traditional clothes. Okay, so the traditional clothes is you can see it in the people that dance joropo. That's one of our traditional clothes. I don't know how to say it in English actually, but if you see some people dancing joropo, you will know that. There is our some of our traditional clothes. We actually watched oh. a little video of Horopo earlier today. Well, the quick then, little then lesson, you know. So that was really fun. You know. Yeah, yeah, it was so beautiful. And we have indigenous, indigenous people in Venezuela, and they also make clothes. So the Wajiros, they do like I don't know, like a big dress, beautiful dresses. And that's typical, that, that's really typical in my state, Sulia. So fun. It seems like very kind of voluminous um, clothing with lots it has of bright colors. Really colorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, and we'd love to hear about any Venezuelan holidays that you guys celebrate. We were reading one thing about um, around Christmas time with roller skating in Caracas. Is that correct? <laughs> Well, I, I'm not from Caracas, okay. so I, I, I don't know exactly about the roller skating. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were reading that they apparently closed the street so everyone can roller skate to mass before Christmas. I've never oh. been in one of those. <laughs> uh, but in holidays, for example, in Christmas, everyone 
meets with their families and they share food. They, they share traditional um, Christmas food that is really delicious. It is really typical the ayaca. What is some of that traditional food? Uh, the, for example, the ayacas, it is like, I don't know how to describe it, but it is made with harina pan, with this. And inside, uh, there's uh, like meat, ch uh, chicken, um, onions, olives, um, and all those things inside. And um, well, basically, that's it. We also um, prepare pork. It is called pernil in Venezuela, like the leg of the pork. That's the pernil. And we shared it in family. And also we do a bread that is pan de jamón. It is like ham bread. But it is really delicious because inside there is ham, bacon, olives. Yeah, that's it. I did one in, in my home, in my house. I, I did one for Christmas. Well, actually two. And it is really delicious. And we also prefer an eggnog, like an eggnog. In uh, that is ponche crema in on this on December. Oh, cool! And Those that's sound what delicious. We, what we do. Mm -hmm. So fun! And I think we had another question back here. Yeah. Do you have a favorite sports player team? La Vino Tinto, <laughs> the soccer team. It is called the La Vino Tinto, <laughs> and and La Vino Tinto. Vino Tinto is like. The wine color, vino tinto, is like the wine color, and it is like yep. the combination of our flat colors, um, red, yellow, and blue. And that's my favorite team, the soccer team. And we're Very wishing cool. to be at the World Cup, but I don't know what is going to happen in the future, but that's our biggest hope. So fun. I love that. Also, I have here some um, instruments. Oh, yes. We would love to instruments. See. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, this is the cuatro. It is like a guitar, but it always has four. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. How do you say this in English? Like um, Four strings. Four strings, exactly. Four strings instead of six that I think the guitar has. And we have a typical music in my state that is called gaitas. We play it for we play them for Christmas, and they sound something like that. I'm not the perfect, like I'm not like the best um, playing this instrument, but I will try it. Okay, so that, that would be amazing. Thank song. you. Okay, so it is like this. what comes next but it is something like that so fun i loved hearing that yeah. what a neat instrument and, and the other one play? and the other one that i have here is uh like a big drum it is called the tambora let me show you let me see if you can see it over here wait a second here so that you can see now you see it so it is like a big yeah it's quite big yeah it is called tambora and we play it with the cuatro in gaitas it sounds like this Another thing that we do is these are like the two rhythms that I know. There are a lot of people that play it way better than me, but this is like a little demonstration. So cool. I love that. I'm so impressed that you know how to play both of them. Yeah, because in my school, they teach us how to play them. Oh, how neat. 
So in school itself, is that pretty common that um, children learn those instruments in school? No, I don't think it is really common. That's something I think that we have to work even harder so that more people actually know more about our country. I think we have to work. We have so much work to do. But those are things that I can share. Thank you so much. That was so wonderful hearing a little bit more about your beautiful country. Yeah, it is really beautiful. It is a shame that we have um, the government that we have. Maybe yeah, in the it future. seems like it's been pretty difficult in the last couple of years, especially. Yeah, it's been really difficult for us. A lot of people in, in Venezuela are suffering from hunger. Um, they don't have a lot of money. But I, I, I mean, I really hope that everything changes because our country is so beautiful. And there are a lot of good people. I mean, you cannot imagine. I, I, I really wish that a lot of people could go to Venezuela so that they could see the beautiful, how beautiful it is. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Maybe in the future you, things will change. I hope yes, so. Yes, I certainly hope so. Yeah, we were reading a little about um, how shopping days are regulated how certain people can only go to the grocery store on certain days. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the thing uh, right now. And it is really dangerous for, for us to have the COVID there because people, I mean, hospitals are not prepared for that. Yeah, it and, seems like when there's already a shortage of medical supplies and medical staff, uh, this is- Electrical shortage, shortages, um, water, well, but it is not the people's people's fault. Of course, yeah. 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 It seems like the Venezuelan people are um, wonderful and resilient, and care a lot about their culture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you well, very thank much. You so much for taking the time to chat with us. It was so fun oh, to hear I, from you. No, thank you for asking me all those things. It's my pleasure to show you. Um, a little more about my country and I hope you had enjoyed it and indeed this was amazing thank you again take Thank care. you care you too